Shout out Good It's TV because por así puta senti no veturte. This is one of the best interviews I've ever had, honestly. Big facts. Big Shout facts. out Good Hits TV. You can tell. Mm. <laughs> Good, good, it's gang. You know what we're about. We're playing the block for the best underground rap here in New York City and beyond. Just got done with a nice meal eating some Japanese barbecue here in Midtown. And boy, do we have a treat for you. We got DDD Eatery and Selm, Mr. Chub Nacio, aka Chubbs. And we got Mr. Foodborn, Young Attila in the cut. We're talking about the underground rap scene. We're talking about all their upcoming music and projects. You know what we're about. We're building it brick by brick. So sit back, relax, enjoy volume four, episode one. What's up, good it's gang? You know what we're about? We're playing the block for the best underground hip hop and rap. Today we got a special. Today we got a special. New York's very own. We got the kings of the underground here. We got Joe's up in the fucking building. We got Young Attila. Dude, how are you guys doing, man? Shitty day. I don't know when we're gonna drop this. But just sort of a shitty day overall weather wise, but you know, we're living out here. Not going fun, like it was it was like a pretty chill day for me. All I did was just like I scouted a location for a music video to I feel that. I was chilling. I much. just sent my boy the stems for a collab track. He asked <laughs> for some like crazy Japanese anime intro kind of shit, so I feel that uh, the works on the instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Where Toby playing that guitar that <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's just been like a crazy ass year with like coronavirus and shit like going on all over the world. How, do you think that's affected you guys at all as rappers? Like how crazy this past year is, or like you know same shit different day type of thing being a rapper in New York? Well, it's it's all it's a little bit of both. It's like same shit different day in New York because at the same time like we like. We're around so many people on the regular before coronavirus happened that like you're pretty much exposed to like the dirtiest shit to, like all the time in New York City. I mean at first at <laughs> first it was like fucking super dead. Like everybody was not seeing Nobody on the streets. It changed for me because Attila used to like engineer all my tracks. Like literally record everything that I was doing. But because of COVID we kinda like weren't able to be recording like that all the time. So I was like, fuck. And I was like, oh, God, what am I going to do? Yeah. But, you know, we, um, I wanted to fire another studio, recorded an album last year. Like, it was cool. Like, yeah. throughout the whole year, I just recorded an album, and I dropped that shit early 2021. So, so are you guys, yeah, are you guys sitting on a bunch of, like, unreleased, unreleased music right now? Like, how many tracks have we got in the vault? How many videos we got in the well, vault? Technically, technically, we've been... Working on them, yeah. yeah, like so. Besides the personal like like projects that we do for ourselves, so like I have the one album. Well, you just I, dropped how many? How many songs? Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen mm -hmm. songs, and then I dropped fifteen songs last year. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I was gonna say about COVID because I had a lot of time, no work, just sitting on unemployment. Like, damn, I did all fifteen songs like in that half a year before I released it. So. Yeah. And then I'm working on a new rap mixtape and then I'm sitting on a whole R&B tape that I got finished last year but I got inspired. But Dude, where'd the R&B sound come from? Like when I think of you, I think of the visuals you've dropped, I think of you as more of like a rapper. So like, yeah. I'm hearing this R&B sound, and uh, Chubb, are you in on this too? Like the whole, this, are you he, on this R&B tape? He's on one of, the, one of the songs on the tape actually. Yeah. He's trying to get the R&B side out of him a little more. Yeah, yeah like, it's like the R&B shit is a little bit more difficult for me because like my voice is pretty low. But you know, just a bit of auto tune, a little bit of practice and shit. Like I be trying to hit some notes that I don't normally hit. But uh, yeah, it's always been working on that R&B team. He, his first, his first album that he dropped, uh, mixing, was like a lot of singing songs actually. Yeah, like, it was like at least eight, I think. Just not, just not a lot of. People have gotten around to it like that we recently met because they just hear us from like what we what we've done now. Yeah, because we started getting lit like in show wise and notoriety in general is like when we dropped Jibberish the first time and performed that shit that Friday. Yeah, definitely. Started getting booked for more shows after that. Wait, so let me let me take it let me take it from the like the very top just because you know, I don't usually most of the small like 
the small good hits gang, but growing brick by brick guys are mostly like drill guys. Like they, that's mostly what they listen to. So let's, for people who don't know you guys, like could you guys tell me like where you each of you are from and then when you kind of started getting into rap and started taking it seriously? So I'm from Brooklyn and um, I started taking rap seriously about six years ago. Like when I turned 20, it was like 19 turning 20 type shit. Um, and uh, yeah, from that first year though, I met a Tilla, so like that's when I, yeah. I started. We started. I've been with it since jump. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Wait, are you from New York too? Yeah. Well, I was actually born in a different country, and then I moved here before I was one. So I kind of always say born and raised in Brooklyn because, as far as I remember it, I I don't remember shit from there. Wait, so where where were you born? Can you guess? <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't want to be fucked up and get guess. No, it's okay. I don't give a fuck, bro. Do, do you? I get everything, bro. So it's like literally just amusing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's all my ad libs that gives uh, it away. About, is it East Asia? <laughs> no, but I am Chinese. Okay. Part Chinese. Okay. Uh, I I was actually born in Moldova. Oh my god! I was never gonna fucking guess that. Yeah, it's like literally on a globe. They fucking all they afford on it is like M O period. <laughs> to do it. So yeah, it's mad small. It's like in the mountains and shit. Uh, dude, that's wild. How many years do you live in Moldova? Like I said, I moved here before. I was like one, like nine months old or some shit. Oh. So sure. I don't. Shkazi. I just say born and raised in Brooklyn <laughs> usually. But since it's like a deep cut interview, I'm giving y'all the exclusive. Dude, exclusive. Dude, Chubbs, all your fans are wondering, dude, what does Shkazi mean? So I was gonna wait a little bit, but let's just dive into it. <coughs> so Shkazi is like uh. It's my own language. I made it up. But what it means is it's like a placeholder for positive and neutral context. So it's like universal, you know? It's just universal. Dude, you saying it out with the acid shirt is incredible footage. <laughs> That's some deep shit, dude. Yo, shout out Dika. Shout uh, out my stepbrother Ray. Shkazi. <laughs> Dude, that's that's dope. We got Brooklyn and Moldova in the house. We got a fucking. <laughs> we're next to United Nations building. We got the Yo. UN on the fucking. Couch. Yeah, we yeah. try to be like all inclusive. Honestly, in our rapper we have every <laughs> yeah, we have everybody in our rap group. Rascal bro. Vandals. Yeah, Rascal Vandals. <laughs> Dude, so you guys have been in the kind of rap scene in New York, the underground rap scene for a while. How do you guys think it's changed the past like five or six years from like? You know, the earlier 2010s to now, or if there's been any change, like maybe it's the same shit. Well, I mean, really Drill just got a, like, a lot of more notoriety to the mainstream. That's the only thing. You see a lot more people like actually performing Drill songs in, in performance spaces fact, with actually. underground artists. Because mm -hmm. now it's like almost the same thing. Like, you know, before yeah. like Drill's no biggest notoriety was underground or like, you know, the highest of the underground. Now it's like it's mainstream. So we just got to work from the underground up. Yeah. No, that is true. Yeah. Um, um, so do you guys think you guys would ever experiment with drill beats and shit or is that not really we've your kind of like probably we, have done a drill beat or on two on the or Rascal three. Vandals tape we actually have one that's fire as fuck I love the beat on that shit yeah we have yeah we have a tape that we've been working on for like what two years or a year yeah, and a half yeah some shit like, not a year and a half I would yeah, say yeah like a year and a half uh, which is the Rascal Vandals tape Rascal Vandals is our collective yeah we created yeah. and it's uh, us two it's my boy Shisui my boy Kitty and West Guy Beats, which is uh, my producer who like makes dude all my shit. Dude, we gotta throw a show soon, man. I don't mm -hmm. know if there was like a whole bunch of you guys. That's oh, fucking dope. Oh, RNG yeah, fucking is crazy with each other. Like it literally just bounces off of each other. Like when we perform, like I said um, before, me and uh, me and Sel, we did a set forty minutes. It was just us two. Yeah, it was, it was supposed like, to be all four of us, but like we just accommodated the uh, yeah. you know people dropping out or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we were no. able to be there. So we like, literally, no breathing time in between. Not even thirty seconds in between any song. We we're just like, what's? It was song? like a sip of yeah. water. <laughs> that's that's fire. Wait, so um, do you guys think like y'all sound has kind of changed like since you guys started rapping, or or do you guys kind of had you guys kind of started out with one sound, one identity, and then you've kind of developed as an artist? Like, you have an R and B album. I would out, say so. I would say that um, like we got cleaner with how we come up with our songs because like we've always been really in tune with being lyrical so like we try to keep up on our own verses and make sure that we're not like repeating ourselves you know what i'm saying so we always like talk different concepts and shit like we, the way that we make songs is just we have a formula 
like we have a formula like whether it's him by himself whether it's both of us making a track together like we have mad different formulas it's the shkazi you know what i'm saying yeah. it's that big porasi pata set you know the energy we just be out here doing our shit like uh for example last year i i did a uh, something new for my album like i was tripping for a lot of my album not for nothing like i was <laughs> not to record to write yeah but to write and um Incredible. like i was writing when i would write i would be like off a tab or maybe two tabs or i'd do like an eighth of mushrooms maybe four or five grams of shrooms and i'd be chilling bro by myself writing holy shit od and that's why i called this album that i dropped in march 64 realms because it was like 64 realms like that i've i've been in type oh, shit oh shit yeah i was listening on spotify today mm-hmm. yeah damn I'm not saying that they're only 64 realms, but the ones that I've been in, they're all over the place. That's a fractal. It just keeps yeah. going. Dude, you got to go to Peru and do some, um, what did I do? Ayahuasca, dude. That yeah, that's be- that's definitely on my bucket list. That being said, I've never done it for the record. I definitely have. Yeah. Um, but, dude, Attila, what about you, man? I feel like you guys are some of the most lyrical rappers in New York, like, for real. Like, it really goes over people's heads, man. <laughs> because funny. you, it, because a lot of it has, like, humor in it, too. Like, oh, yeah, you'll be, be listening to be lyrics laughing. and, like, laughing and shit. It's because, um, like, because, you know, it's like in life, you, shit is serious, but you be joking and shit, too. So, like, it's just like a song. Sometimes it's like a conversation. Right. It's I think like, that's the best way to promote a positive vibe, honestly, to yeah. make a joke out of it. Also, like, shit. you kind of learned that from, like, we we're probably both big fans of stand-up comedy, I could say. Mm-hmm. Like, growing up Comedy Central and all that shit. Oh, like, hell yeah. So, like, I think that's kind of in the delivery for both of us, too. Yeah, we're, we're, a, bunch of, we're a bunch of clowns. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we love to laugh. We love to make jokes. Dude. We laugh about stupid shit all the time. <laughs> Dude, bro. I want to talk to you guys about y'all's relationship with food. Because you have, Ooh, like, I really love these food. rap songs about it's your boy shit. dirty dick yeah, Danny. and you have like a little mini <laughs> yeah. series so like i feel like food plays a big role well i mean i got a question for you like who doesn't like food you know yeah. or right. everyone out there you know it's that just shit like, is universal yeah i dropped the whole food porn mixtape when's the I just last got time inspired. you met somebody that doesn't eat <laughs> <laughs> it connects us as humans <laughs> but yeah i was i was gonna say i dropped the whole mixtape food porn because so, just like based on food metaphors and shit like that because yeah. I think the first beat I did was like Wes from Rascal Vandal sent me uh, like the pepper beat. And I was like, she got the pepper, she got the pepper, she got the pepper. <laughs> I beat the pussy cruelty free like I wear no leather, whatever. And then just like a little dancey vibe kind of going on with like really good bars and shit like that. And I was like, yo, I could keep playing off of this. Then I yeah. think I did the next song was Blender. And then just like keep continuing. And that, that honestly, uh, Food Porn, the mixtape spans so many genres too just like the first album that he mentioned too right so it's just like just like food because food is just like all taste there's like even like a like what almost like a latin inspired song in there with the acoustic guitar yeah which one is it though? I fr- um fucking i forgot what this shit was called but i i think i sampled like uh like people chopping up vegetables in there like all the <laughs> samples are just stupid shit blender actually has an actual blender in the beat that's for wild. the sample yeah, wait so do you put like pen to paper or do you kind of freestyle it do you kind of have like the chubbs approach where you take like 20 tabs and you write like what's your now, now we write <laughs> yeah, yeah i honestly don't write on tabs or anything like that because i feel like i, I usually just want to like get away from like all my responsibilities and earthly like limitations and shit like that so i I usually don't feel like creative i just want to be like oh like you know enjoy like enjoy the world and shit and all the moments and stuff like that but Mm -hmm. like um when i'm off it i'm pretty like 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 i said i dropped 15 songs last year and i produced most of the beats for that i think only like three songs on it weren't produced by me damn and uh or actually none of the the last two beats too yeah so five out of the 15 and then I did a new mixtape that's basically all me, and then that R and B tape, which is just like combined. I'm looking at like 25 songs I'm sitting on. Damn, yeah. damn. So when are y'all gonna be dropping y'all's projects? Like, when could the people expect some some new music and shit? Well, I mean, like, I'm probably releasing a new single for like August, and then he's probably gonna drop his tape tape in September, and I'm probably gonna do after or before. We'll like plan it out or whatever. Yeah, but, I yeah. wanna I wanna drop like maybe two two three singles off the album, cause them shit's fire, OD fire, and I like to I'm go with that. 
um i'd like to promote them shits before i drop the album because they're just so lit and i want to <laughs> like work on music videos for yeah. them like along with it like right now the 64 realms album has two videos out which is rvp and freaky oh no freaky's not out yeah. but i have freaky so rvp and 3am i did but, R- rvp by the way oh yeah he directed Damn. rvp we did that out in ohio yo what would that take like an hour and a half to yeah. record honestly it was just because i figured i had to make my gimbal like spin manually <laughs> so i didn't have to digitally affect that shit so i was just like yo like let's just get these practical effects done wait who shot the one where you're in front of like the store and it has like a yellowish hue in the background the chinese store yeah yeah that's rvp yeah you guys know what i'm talking about you're like rapping in front of a store and mm-hmm. i think and you're there's like three multiple of us? yeah there's multiple or the, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. Like yes yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's, Dude, that's fire man yeah. Yeah. i just like honestly i've been uh i've been like just been a big fan of practical effects like i'm kind of tired of like doing like od crazy digital effects on everything unless you're doing like a strictly maybe like blender type of animation shit fully done like that I don't, I'm like, I'm kind of tired of seeing like overdone effects like every three seconds and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because honestly, if you, if you notice like the biggest music videos, they get millions of plays anyway, like the baby and all that shit. Like they don't, they don't have any of that shit. It's literally like they're, they're not even transition. It's just cinematic. It's yeah. more, it's more like plot driven and mm-hmm. it's, conceptual. It's, than it's like a mini sewed yeah. of something, you know? Yeah. 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 So, um, another shit on drill moment for me, which I love drill, but like. All their music videos are just like a bunch of dudes smoking pot and just chilling. Don't forget the uh, the dance. And then they do, yeah, and then they do the dance. Yeah. And then the only thing they add is like we'll send it to a VFX guy, and they'll put like random inconsequential Bro, like, I, like I, VFX that mean like add nothing to like. So I don't know. It's just it's weird. So when I when I've been like on set like for the production company and uh, like we've been with this one rapper, he's like a drill rapper like mainly. He's like, yo, why is everything taking so long right now? And I'm like, bro, this is a put together set. Like, we got everything set up for you. We got girls coming in. We about to have a whole scene. We having scenes like being done. And yeah. he was like, oh, when I'm out and about, like, it takes me an hour and I get get everything done. And I'm yeah. like, those are just regular shots. Like out in front of wherever the fuck you gonna stand in front of, and there's mad heads with you and you smoking, drinking, getting lit. Show yeah. a little shkazi borazi, <laughs> you know, and then you're like, boom, video, done. I'm like, this is like different. We're trying to get lit with it. We're trying to get cinematic with it, dude. you know? Dude, 3 a.m., that's a dope music video. Yo, thank Just because it was lit. It looked his like brother it was, did that Yeah, shit. my little He's brother actually out. directed that, and uh, him and his partner, like, edited and everything. Dude, that's dope that you direct shit, man. Yeah, like, DK made this. Shout out, shkazis. I mean, I'd be, I'd be trying, bro. Like, I, I honestly, I just have so many ideas for the upcoming music videos that I want to shoot. Like Naruto run blowing up on Spotify and TikTok yeah, apparently. Yeah, I saw so, that as almost like a few thousand views. Like, I'm yeah, just yeah. Good today. Mm. that shit like was like that shit blew up out of nowhere for me. Like I was, I literally released it like the full one in October, and then TikTok just like ran with it. Do Do you have a um? Did you drop a visual for that yet? No, no, no. But I have like the whole fit. Like I got, I got, I basically asked the girl who um drew the animated like cover for the single when I dropped it earlier to just base it off of the fit that I'm going to be wearing for the music video. So I had that shit pre-planned. Like, that's what I'd do. i just, like, cop <laughs> cop yeah. sneakers, make a whole fit out of that shit, and then just, like, come shoot it out idea. for each, yeah, and then come up with the idea. Locale. <laughs> that's what I'm saying about the cinematic thing, because it's just, like, it's like, got to be, you know. You like, got right now, motherfucker's been working on so many videos. Like, we have videos on hold. Yeah. 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 Dude. Just, just to leak a couple, we actually have, we're sitting on Gibberish 2 that I finished. Yeah. And uh and that his uh bro actually held our camera set yeah, up for. Yeah, he like he like shot it. Um, yeah. That's awesome. And then we also have One Piece, which is the other drill song that actually was a part of. Yeah, and dude. that's me and my bro Shisui and I actually made that beat too. Shisui. That's awesome. Yeah. Shisui and you beats. That dude, yeah. jack of all trades here, man. Jack I mean, I I have a lot of years in the game, so. <laughs> I feel that. I Before feel this that. shit I was in like a prog rock shit, so. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, so getting into like the type of music y'all listen to, like what what are y'all's kind of like uh musical influences? Like what's the shit you're you've been listening to and like you fuck with beyond your own stuff um, well like like i definitely temporarily i mean yeah okay oh so i mean i listen to like all types of music all the time type yeah. shit but i 
like when I'm tripping, I definitely steer towards like classic rock. I listen to like a lot of fucking crazy shit with the guitars and shit. I love Santana. So we'd be like, I, I love to trip, listen to music, and I'd be like, ooh, ooh, yeah, this feels good. So, bro, like, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like Tyler the Creator, OD. Yeah, nice. bro. Big influence. OD. Uh, Schoolboy Q. Oh, that's far. I could see those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flappers, zombies, and shit. I mean, growing up, I listened to all types of rap type shit. My pops. XXX, for sure. You used to listen to OD, like Eminem and 50 Cent type shit. Ski Mask. I love, yo, you know Toby Lou? Oh, yeah, facts. I've never heard of that. Toby Lou, Toby Lou's, he's pretty fire. Like, he's upcoming type shit. Yeah. But... That motherfucker on top of the he game, bro. He actually inspired with his, me for a lot of the video ideas that I have. When I'm tripping, bro, yeah. he's he's the he's he. I listen <laughs> to him definitely. Yeah, he came out a couple of years ago with like uh, a green screen video where he just like literally wore a bathrobe or some shit. Fire ass song, you know, just chill. Solange. Great lyrics, yeah. Solange. Right. Fucking cheetah, cheetah bathrobe, just. Bro, dancing, dancing through a green screen. Dude, I need to, I need to get you to shoot like, cause I just started getting in the music video g- game. Like, I'm gonna drop one like next week, mm-hmm. but I, I want to shoot like a green screen, like one of those underground like music videos where it's just a green screen. It looks like low budget and shit, yeah. but for like a New York like tough drill rapper, <laughs> and I mean, and then know, drop bro. it on one of those big drill blogs and just see the comments and watch everybody be like, what the fuck is this? We had, <laughs> like, we had why done. isn't a bunch of dudes, like, drinking lean? And, like, where's the strippers? And it's just, like, three dudes with yeah. a cheap green screen. <laughs> bro, we, <laughs> we actually have a green screen for the Cream of the Crop video. That's supposed yeah. to be the next video that comes out off the album. But we did that really impromptu. It was, like, there was no full-body green screen shots. It was more of, like, mid Cause there was just no space. We did that shit in like a ladder, like <laughs> casing yeah. or like, like fucking like fif- emergency. We had like kind of 15 shit. minutes to use it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we just recorded these scenes really yeah, quick. Yeah, cause our, uh, what was it? Someone, someone used it over their car. Jimmers too, the- we have green screen scenes that, that we too. use. Like there's like little copies of us, like on top of like booties. Cats and shit, yeah. <laughs> like, on booties. You know, so sit me on top of a booty. Yeah, something like that dude where thing. are you gonna be dropping these like visuals like where where are the fans gonna be able to like find it i'm hoping YouTube? them be dropping them on mass faces Big dude facts. shout out shout out shout out Braj, bro. shout out Braj, shout out mass faces i'm hoping to be dropping them there because that's where normally faces, that's where normally all my songs get dropped yeah. my Spe- videos speaking of mass faces uh we got that merch collab going on with them yeah. You know oh, what I'm saying? It's got the mass faces on the back detailing and shit like that. We got the MF on the side. Yeah. Somewhere. I don't know. Mm. Well, also, I also brought the hoodie because it's way too hot to wear, but we got mass faces on the whole. Dude, cop up. Talk, cop talk, up. Talk for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got the Masked Faces hoodie. Let's go, Young Attila collab. Dude, this the fact is that beautiful. we don't have a Shkazi shirt is just depressing. Yo, it's shit okay, bro. The Shkazi shirts are like super, super limited right now. Yeah. Like, I had uh, one drop. Them shit sold out mad quick. Um, my second drop. I've got like maybe ten shirts left. They're they're going on StockX for a couple of G's right now. <laughs> bro, don't worry. Up. They they gonna be Pay going. Your on, they gonna be now. going on well, StockX for Ethereum like a million, at this bro. Point. That's why I was shit. trying to cop five, dude. Yo, Sell some for some Doge, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sell for some Doge, bro. We actually have, we have a, a song called Dogecoin. Yeah, we have a song called Dogecoin oh, on my shit. next shit. How does that song go? I'm gonna fuck my Doja, smoking the pack Doja. Doja. Some think you like Doja, so keep my composure, a. Damn, uh. dude. Uh, um, <laughs> like, you guys gotta start dropping this music, dude. You guys can't. Bro, we, like, we dropped. I just, I just trying to be dropped. Methodical, you bro, know I just saying? dropped a whole album in March. Yeah, the fact that fourteen he is, songs. The bro. fact that he's got like another eight songs that he's sitting on is just like ridiculous. Bro, and, and these eight tracks that I'm sitting on are so fires. Yes. Wait, like, not even that. Wes just sent him a new beat pack. You know Wes what that means? Wes just sent that's me like whole, 14 beats, that's bro. That's a like, whole new album that's right That's another there. album. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was just like, I was like, oh my God. I was like, Wes wants me to immediately work on the next album. That's, yeah. what, this, that's what this is. Because like, I went ahead and started working on this album in, like right after 64 Realms dropped. I went oh, to the shit. studio and I was like, oof. I'm gonna record this song and this song and this song, this song, this song, this song, this song, and this song. Once I finished, I was like, boom, it's done. All I gotta do is go back for one more session for a mix and mastering. 
which is going to oh, be yeah. fire at oh, IMI. Yeah. Shout out Boogie. My son makes by Boogie on IG. He fucking bless me for this album like the rough drafts sound beautiful you know what i'm saying they sound oh, yeah. so good oh, yeah. i am my as a fire studio yeah bro and the the thing about this uh project is that i didn't do any features so yeah. it's just me type yeah. shit for the whole project this is the first time i'm doing that how know? do you think that makes me feel <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Say, dude. <laughs> it's the first time that i'm doing it um i mean i i do have like a tape that me and west drop called the mr six four which is like no features on it either no nah, i had no features on it but it was only four tracks it was an ep yeah and it was like some, some some like you know shit that we were working on it was cool though like that's when louis cologne popped off i don't yeah. know if you heard that before you probably didn't yeah i need to check that out yeah i got fire vi- YouTube I have video. mad videos out actually yeah. like you could see louis cologne denial is a big one too. Yeah, shout out on my yo sh- shout out on my who, who do you guys think are gonna be like the next big like new york rappers that come out of the underground scene i guess you could say yo honestly besides us because yeah, that's what facts. you want to hear yo besides us because like i already know i already know that like we work so hard on this shit that we do like i work mad hard like i'll be paying attention too much work i pay attention to everything that i do i make sure that it's like gonna lift me rather than bring me down so i stay busy stay busy i'm working on this i'm working on this project i just got a whole bunch of things that i'm working on so when it does release i'm hoping for good things to come out of it and for the right people to listen to it especially because we've been working so hard bro like we've been working so hard like i can't stress that enough memorial day week and the week after we were supposed to play only three shows for the two for the two weekend span we did seven we did seven shows bro we in like two shows. weeks bro it was 10 days we did in a week seven two shows week. Like, dude you guys have been like doing mad shows have you guys seen like your, your like your fan base and stuff keep going up and stuff since you guys started doing so shows i would say that like it does go up i just need to promote it to the to the like brought to a broader audience i think yeah you know what i'm saying because i bro these songs lit yeah, songs is lit. Big facts. Like, <laughs> like there, there's just that we could just bump on the daily. Like you know, I, I just, I just went to Cali in 420. That shit was beautiful. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I was just bumping out there all these shits that I have like yeah. already recorded. I was off like three tabs. <laughs> oh, I was wearing this shirt, bro. Acid, Dika acid, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Three tabs. <laughs> I was like, I gotta do them shits. I had did one tab in Vegas like a few days prior. <laughs> and then 420 happened. I got $800 for this tattoo. Oh, shit. Right. Shout, out. Shout out Herbarium. Shkazi. Yeah. Right. They paid me for that shit. So I did. I got that money and I was like, I'm doing these three tabs. Did that shit. Had a great time. Yo, we were on the highway going mad fast. And I'm just bumping my shit. And I'm like, oh, my God. Is this the song that makes me a million dollars? <laughs> I think so. You know what I'm saying? So, you got an astral project. Yo, <laughs> so shout out September. Your boy Chimnasio becomes a millionaire. Shkazi. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, Josh. What about other other names though? Young Attila. Dude, show some show some love for the ops, man. Like, what about the other rappers in the scene? Like, who else have you guys been? Oh, talking I forgot with? that you asked us the question of who's gonna make it next. <laughs> That's what we were talking yeah, about. Still, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, I mean, you know, it's it's us, bro. Like, I mean, but besides us, you know, my boy, my boy Tsunami, he's fire as hell. Yeah. He be putting in mad work. He be doing big things. He's like fucking working on a whole studio out in Ohio. He does shit over yeah. here for the community. He be out here like designing clothes. We got we have we actually have a project coming out soon. Like we just dropped a song not too long ago. That shit busting right now called Eye of the Skies. Ooh. Got a feature on one of those songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That shit's gonna be lit. That song, me and Attila. Legendary. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be wavy. Yeah. Yeah. Attila, what about you, dude? Who you, who you been kind of listening to and stuff? Listening to? Yeah, I feel hmm. like you guys have been doing a lot of shows. Like, who have you been seeing that's talented out there? You've been fucking with. Hmm. That's a good question. And any other like features and stuff? Well, we fuck with the with? homie Yoda X, O D. Yeah. Yoda X, have you heard of him? Long oh path. yeah, yeah. He's a homie. He he be he was he putting on a show. crazy yeah, ass. Yeah, he yeah. be putting on a crazy ass show. That motherfucker can perform, bro. Yeah, he's he's fire. We got some shit going on too. Like, bro, 
a lot of the underground artists that be working are fire as hell it's a matter of like that push we all need to push yeah. that shit bro yeah. so would you guys do features with people outside of your like kind of collective like yeah you know i have a song with some guy from uh south africa actually <laughs> yeah yeah that one, i record that shit I that one is fire like what is it called i think the song is called um you dropped that shit nah he ain't drop it yet that's my son tony overdose you can look <laughs> him up he's, he's pretty lit Damn. and then there's other homies on the song too holy mm-hmm. shit it's like it's like uh we flee we flee <laughs> so flee some shit like that um flex it flex it. Uh, just like a couple that. more a couple more <laughs> questions that I always, actually like a few America. more Africa. that i always like to ask so here at good it's tv we've interviewed a few artists and we're creating a spreadsheet for like features mm. and pricing so say a random dude hits you up on instagram he's like i'm fucking with your music like could i get a feature from you how much are you guys taxing 150 150. Same with you? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I ask, what's your budget? We'll work with your budget. Yeah. But if, if they ask, what do you charge? I tell them 150. That's how I feel, yeah. And then I say, Shkazi. <laughs> and then they'd be like, all right, I'll get back to you. And if they get back to me, I'm with it. But, you know. I yeah. I actually I got, paid, I, got paid, I got paid I got paid for a feature and the homie still hasn't hit me up for the song or anything. Damn. <clears throat> I'm still waiting on working on that track. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, I told him the other day. I saw him. I was like, "Hey, man, what's up?" He's like, "Bro, we're gonna get in the studio." And I was like, "All right, I'm waiting." Yeah. yeah. Let me know. Oh you could God. pay me for a feature. I'll be here waiting. I feel that. Pay me for that, though. So. Shkazi. Um. <laughs> And then on Shkazi the f- shirts available. You just got a DM, <laughs> Shabnasio. Shkazi por así puta serte. You could also go to the Shkazi page. The official Shkazi page is called uh, Shkazi. S-H-C-O-Z-Z-I. If you didn't realize, there's no C before the H. Doesn't make yeah. sense. That would be like Scoozy <laughs> or Scozy. Um, it's Shkazi. Wait, so on the flip so side, sh- if say you get signed to like a major record label and the A&R comes up to you and it's like, I'm going to give you guys unlimited money to pay for whatever feature you guys want in the entire world. That's a better Wait, question. Each of you guys uh, uh, go, Attila, with, starting with you. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Depends on what song I'm trying to make. Let's go Go. Go with three. Three yeah. features. The Baby, one. I got to get a song with the... Um, who else? Shit. Ski Mask. And, uh, shit. Third one? Uzi. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Yo, I definitely want a feature with Tyler the Creator. Off rip. Damn, son. Yeah, off rip. I'm going to feature with Tyler the Creator. Um, I would also say, hmm. Definitely, definitely get a feature with, uh, Action Bronson. That'd be oh, wavy dude, as hell. That'd be, be epic. That'd be wavy as hell. Um she convince him to do another uh season of, you know Word. That eating. Shit. Word. He should be on one of the DDD eatery episodes. That'd Big be awesome. Facts. That'd be fire. Um and another one. <laughs> Drake. Dude, I, I, Damn. I literally knew you were gonna say that. Like Damn son. Drake. <laughs> Because earlier when you were like, I'm just trying to get paid off this shit, I was like, the most logical market decision would be Drake. Word. You want to choose French Montana? No. <laughs> you gain like a million fans, like immediately. Yeah, bro. I mean, either Drake or Beyonce. Like, because Ooh. all the music blogs and everything would be like, who is this Yo, new Beyonce man Drake is fucking fire. with? Bro, make money, bro. Beyonce make feature would be bro. fire. <laughs> It's like you gotta think about it. Like, yo, you have unlimited money to just get this. Fuck it. Like, three is very get. small to choose. There's just so three, many. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. A, there's a bunch, bro. There's, like, so there's a bunch. She's gonna wait. So is that? So what's sort of the goal, like, as as rappers for you guys in the next few years? Like, do you, would you guys do a record label type thing? Do you guys like saying independent? Well, we we like, own we own our own label right now. Yeah, I think Rascal ideally is probably just get like distribution or some shit through a major record label, like. 
how the baby has it or like any modern yeah. up and coming rapper has it. Yeah, yeah like they like, have their own like section of like a subsidiary of a label or some shit like that. Right, right. Yeah. We love we love just to make money and uh, to be like touring, bro. I want to be touring. I want to be everywhere. Like I want to, I want my music to be played in different countries. Yeah. I want everybody to be saying Chicago. Shout out Australia. Shout out Australia. <laughs> Like Show I said, I'm going to be in South Africa one day, bro. Me and Tony Overdose going to go link. We're going to be chilling. <laughs> I want to go to Brazil. Dude, yeah. I love Brazil. Brazil is dope. But, yeah, um, I have, like, bro, we have so many plans. Like, the music is our gateway for us, like, making even more moves with what we want to do. I want to, like, start acting. I want to, like, go into yeah. comedy. I want to do all that shit. Like, oh, yeah. I want the food, my DDD eatery to, like, blast off OD. Yeah. I want all this to happen and I want our clothes to be out there. Yeah, like, okay. we have so much ideas, bro. This is me trying to be on my fashion designer shit because I designed this yeah, shit. He designed oh, yeah. this. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, uh, um, the until I gotta ask, dude, is, dude, I love the, like, lyrical quality of your music because it's just about food and women. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, let's keep it. Let's keep it simple. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that shit's so fucking funny, dude. Concept. I mean, like, ban- yeah, banana is like a funny ass song ASMR rap. Have you ever heard anyone do that shit before? That's wild, dude. I, I Food said, porn is so fucking yeah, funny, dude. I said, peel back my banana because she <laughs> like a little flavor. Shit got a kick to it. Taste peppers in the layers. Honey on her body <laughs> like she a vanilla wafer. Make a girl so moist, but your boy's not a sailor. She's sweet and salty, <laughs> but a finna go shake her, beat the pussy. Oh, wait, what was it? <laughs> Something like that. I is forget. that is that your song? Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. dude. But I'm like fucking, whispering the whole time. I should have like drummed a fucking beat. <laughs> hey, to that. Whoa. It's yeah. <laughs> just wild. That's funny. Uh, I also made the beat like mad long ago, like as a joke, like literally just saying banana, banana, <laughs> and then I just that was a sample. That's the beat. Yeah. Ba-na-na-na. Wait, and then what? I came back like three <laughs> years after I made the beat to actually fucking like wreck that beat. So when are you guys gonna be performing again? I think we have a show July thirty first. Would oh, you, July thirtieth? I I have one too. Wait, Shout out, rent, uh, wait, so that's rent my the 31st? kangaroo or some shit. I think it's the thirtieth, huh? I thought well, it was whatever. The 31st. Check my check my Instagram page or some shit for more info. But uh, what was it? Um. You can find me at Y U N G A T T I L A, by the way. And uh, it's like Rent My Kangaroo or Find My Where's My Kangaroo Fest or some shit like that. It's like, oh, yeah. yo, honestly, it'd be mad random when we get booked <laughs> for events sometimes. Yeah. Like, right now, we're just chilling. But we also want to be putting our own shows together. So I'm trying to, like, set up my own show. Yeah. Get shit lit. Yeah. Make some bread, just, sell some Shkazi shirts. Just get in the uh, event spaces in line, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. We've been, we've been, we've been, yeah. Spotting those shits while we perform. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're kind of we're kind of up at the end here, so let's do some shout outs, man. Like All just right. open mic night, open mic, like just <laughs> just do some shout outs, dude. Free all the yeah, guys. Though. Shout yeah. out, shout out, shout out. West got beats Big off thanks. rip because he that ass like blesses me with everything that I do. He low key like shapes exactly what my next song is gonna be. Like he he tests my knowledge and boundaries to like to how i write you know what i'm saying so shout out wes for a fact yeah shout most out. of my favorite songs actually that i did are wes got beat songs i don't get a lot of beats from him but when i do i usually enjoy the shit out of it, Sh- it. shout out shisui shout out kitty motherfucking brothers right there yeah shout out meadow shkazi porasi yeah. it's actually her birthday tomorrow right happy birthday yeah happy birthday meadow um shout out my mom and my dad <laughs> <laughs> i yo, love you mom my and step pops and my stepmoms yo shout out my little brother because he's currently like directing my videos shout out the whole team motherfucking yo shout out av shout out ben my makeup artist av is my photographer shout out uh david who else who else we got? We got a lot of people. Let me let me let me get a let me get a couple of shout outs. Go ahead, go ahead. Shout out Chubbs. Shout out everyone else in Rascal Vandal, Shisui, fucking hey. Kitty, uh West Got Beats. Shikazi. Shout out Tsunami. Where shout being out Tsunami. a fire ass motherfucker. Where? Shout out every, uh, Boogie! Pink, shout out Pink Tacos, honestly. Shout out Pink Tacos. Yeah. Proof, facts, proof, and Yoda. Proof and Yoda. 
Facts. Uh, shout out Mass Faces. Shout out Barrage. Yeah, shout out Barrage. Shout for out Toto. Shit. Shout out Toto, yeah. Yeah. Shout out all the Shkazi Porasis, Patasetis, Noventurtes that yeah. be fucking pull it, put it up with me. I don't know what, but yeah. <laughs> That'd be giving us the source material, you know? I don't even <laughs> know. <laughs> yo, I mean, yo, I get it. I'm I'm very, yo, I'm, I'm cuddly, bro. <laughs> 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 Fuck, could be the greatest. But success always stays so sweet. It's significant other fiend in my meat. Don't need a rough or to ingest my seat. Yo, we fucking.